Hello people on YouTube, this is Ned, I've given the creeper a hug and I'm showing and today I'm showing you how to make a Minecraft server with buckets. So this is part two. Part one was showing you how to download the files and configure them and this is gonna show you how this is part two, it's gonna show you how to port forward so other people can play on your server. Uh with access via the internet. So I've got my stuff here, but we don't really need to use these. These are just the files that you download. Well, you don't. You only download one, but oh well. Just watch part one first. So to start your port forwarding. Um, open your start box and type in CMD, and this will be it. CMD.exe. This is the command box. It's short for CMD is short for command, and in this command box, type in ipconfig. Hit enter, and loads of rubbish will come up. We're only interested in two things here. The IPv4 address, write this down, and the default gateway, write this down. Um, after you've wrote those down, um, you can close this, but they can differ quite a lot. So sometimes they can be the same. Um, I don't know what to do when they are the same, but let's just close it. Um, open Google Chrome, or whatever internet browser you use, I just like Google Chrome. And type in the default gateway in the search box here. Here's mine and hit enter. It will it will say you have to log in. If you don't know what your username and password is, just look at your root your router or your wireless your, your modem or your wireless router. There'll probably be a sticker on it saying your username and password. If you can't find it it's usually um user and user, user and password, admin and password or admin and admin. Try some of those, see if they work. I'm gonna log in. I'm going to pause, pause so you don't know my password. <laughs> okay, so once you've logged in, it'll come up with a page. Um, well, not necessarily like this. It, it depends what your router is. But with Netgear, it'll look something like this. Um, if you have a Netgear wireless router. Um, since it differs quite a lot, um, I can't really help you because um, you have to look for something like port forwarding. It can be different depending on what wireless router you have again because uh, it can be like gaming or forwarding it can just it can be lots of different things just try and find something like this port forwarding click, let's click it this is my server that's already running uh, that I'm just gonna um, add a custom service to show to show you how to do it service name this can be pretty much everything but I prefer to keep it as the name of the server uh, I'll just call it Minecraft um, TCP and UDP and um, Minecraft prefers both so just leave that the same. Um, the ports are 25565 because that's the preferred port but you can change those if you have two servers. I might get on to that in the next video. Um, and the ending port is also 25565. Once again it's um, Minecraft's preferred port. And the server IP address um, will be the IPv4 address that we just found. This is mine. Click apply and it'll work. But I don't want to do that otherwise it will conf conflict with my other server. So I'll just close that down. If it doesn't work, um, ask me in the comments and I'll try and help you out. Um, um, now when you finish that you can go into, you can go into Minecraft. Go multiplayer and type in your IPv4 address that you just put put in, uh, and your server will work. But once again, other players still can't play on it. So what you need to do now is go on ipchicken.com, hit enter, and it will come up with your IP address. Um, that you can, that this is the IP address that other people will use to come on your server. You can use it as well if you want. Um, so yeah, that's what other people use for going on your server um, that's pretty much it if you have any any um, problems just um, tell me in the comments and I'll try and help you out and um, thanks for listening to me ramble